Hi everyone. So today we are headed off for a little walk. What's the name of the walk? Oh, uh, Godlingston Heath Walk. Godlingston Heath Walk on the south coast of England in Dorset and... Studland to be precise. Look at the weather. Yeah, Studland is where we are. So we're going to go for a walk. It's about three miles. It's classed as easy. Um, it should take about an hour and a half and then we're going to head back um, to the car and then go over to a hotel which we're going to be staying at called Knoll House which we'll show you around as well but I'm just going to go for a walk with my lovely wife Faye and we're going to show you what we come across as we go for a walk on a beautiful sunny spring day Bluebells. You've seen some bluebells? Yeah, that are nice. Really pretty. We've made it to the pond. Right. At the top, turn left between the toilet block and the village pond. So where's the toilet block? So there's the pond. Oh, there's the toilet block, the white building through there. So turn... Turn left here. Or would you class that as the top? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, we take things literally, and when we take things literally, we tend to end up... I mean, that map is shocking. Oh, why? That... Hang on, let's just get out the middle of the road, and then we'll yeah. have a look at the map. So we've done that. So across the main road, we continue along Heath Green Road. You will see apple orchards on your left. Okay. Turn right down Agglestone Road. Good, a road name. Like a Jesus, road like we're Honestly, we're close to getting divorced and we've only walked about <laughs> 50 metres. <laughs> Old Harry Bar, I didn't know that was there. Right, so, hopefully this is the right road. We need to cross over because the path's running out. We've already cut out a little bit of the walk. <laughs> it was a tiny bit. Oh, crazy. But I think we're on the right track now. Oh my life. We are back on track. Yeah, we've seen a road name, so that's why. Found the right proper the right road, road name. name. Proper road name. Proper road name matches the map. I don't know what it is, but like Faye was saying, we always struggle with maps because the directions are quite vague, aren't they? They're so vague. And even the map, like we were looking at it, maybe it's us. We're the common denominator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looked upside down, and don't say turn the map around. <laughs> oh, yeah, like look oh, at this view. Nice I don't know if you'll see it on camera. Look at that. Horses and seaside. Oh, one horse. Gorgeous. Let's have a look down here, shall we? Left through the heath. To be fair, this bit's actually a little bit tricky for families. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, it's not um, push chair proof, is it? Push chair proof. Right, where next? Left or right? Here's Mrs. Jane's getting all arty. bad view to be getting. Why choose coastal country when you can have both? Yeah, so true. Right, so oh, we yeah. carry on down here. Let's check. Oh, there's another route there. Where do we go? Up there. Let's see, let's see. At the crossroads, turn right. Yeah, we did that. Is back. this a cross? No, we're done. 
when we got to the back that gravel track there we turned right which is down here okay the next point it says at crossroads turn right yeah so this is the crossroads okay i'll go with that so we're going down there that's back the way we came does it look like it on your map that we're going down there probably not two moments whilst we check where we're going. Well, let me just get my bearings. This... Where's the kissing gate on here? So we made it to the crossroads. Well done, Faye. <laughs> A little bit out of breath, but look, here he is. Very lucky with the weather. A typical well, spring, 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 and spring, 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 spring weather. Um, just don't know what to wear because it was quite chilly this morning. But obviously, as you're walking, it gets a lot warmer. But, oh, if I take my coat off, I know I'll get cold. The wind is quite chilly. Plus, I'll probably get some, but I'm ginger. So I'm um, to stay as I am for now. But yeah, to be honest, I'm just moaning. I've got no real no need because that is absolutely gorgeous. The ground is a little bit uneven, not too good on your feet, too steady. Then I think you would find it difficult, and also if you've got like asthma or anything like that at all, you also find it a bit of a challenge. I'll say more medium, would you agree, Faye? I would agree. Medium. It's almost difficult to Really? Prepare. Difficult? Yeah. People, well, difficult to, people to find got mountains will be like, are you having a laugh, mate? You're walking <laughs> up a hill. But um, we've got some horses coming. Horses will find it easy. Yeah. Bournemouth, Sandbanks, Studland right in front of us. And you've got Paul, Paul Harbour, Brownsea Island. And then over here you've got RSPB arm um, and then the rest of the Perbex. What an absolutely lovely place to come for a walk. We're just coming up to Agglestone Rock. And I've got my phone out to see what it says about it. And it says Agglestone Rock, also known as the Devil's Anvil, is a sandstone block about 400 tonnes in weight perched on a Conical Hill, approximately one mile from the village of Studland in South Dorset. It's certainly one big rock. The Devil's Anvil. Sun, I feel a little bit of heat. Ah, Thank you. Get your sand you want your sandwich now? Yeah. Chicken and triple. That's for you. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, quite a long way. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think Zoe would like this walk. Probably, yeah. Otis? Yeah, Otis would love it. Soren would be off exploring. Mm. Nicole would enjoy it. Because it's like peaceful and tranquil. You need to turn that off. Oh yeah. Comfortable. My way. Where are they going? Good to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. How are you doing? You too, very good. You? What's yeah. your name? Steve. Right. So next, we want to take the <laughs> <laughs> take the path that leads down the slope on the other side of the Agglestone. Must Shout be out. that. And follow the path through the mire. M I R E. Never heard of that. Where the path forks, oh, this is where we normally get lost, turn right, heading towards the trees. Okay. I mean, there's trees everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Faye, this is an easy, an it's easy like walk. It's like loose under my feet. <laughs> oh, 
and walk up here to dry up. Through the bridal gate, just after Wadmore Farmhouse, you will see an old brick kiln on your right. So first of all, we want to find a house. And then we'll come across the old brick kiln. Kiln. On our right. It's quite hard to say that, isn't it? Kiln. 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 Can you say it that like accentuated in the N? Kiln. Kiln. This is the kiln. The old brick kiln. There you go. So is that, is that for pots? Kiln. I, I think it is, isn't it? Like pottery type yeah. stuff. So there you go. That's an old brick kiln. Kiln. <laughs> hey, lime raspberries behind me. Flies apparently. Why do they hang around in groups under trees? You have to walk under it and you just walk into like a cloud of like flyness. <laughs> that always seems to go to you though, doesn't they? Huh. What's that say? Dunno. I don't know. Oh, I like shit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little doggy. Hello, mate. <laughs> so we navigated the route and we've made it back. We're just heading heading back to their car park now. To be honest, we got lost quite a few times, so <laughs> quite a few, yeah. But it was it was lovely. Not our fault. I had, I, no, 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 it 100%. is not our fault. Yeah, it's totally good. The directions and the uh, map drawing that we were following was quite poor. Um, but it was lovely. And we also met a guy, Steve, and his other half, who met us when we were at the rock. Um, he followed me on Instagram, so we now follow each other. Really nice bloke and does woodcraft. And that was cool, having a little chat with him. Um, so you never know who you're going to bump into when you're out and about. But I say, lovely little walk. Heading back to the car park now. Across the road. Always look both ways, guys. Unlike Faye, who's bold I did just look both ways, but I was looking that way when you looked that way. But yeah, so heading back to the car. Here we go. Just arrived at Knoll House. And Faye. Huh? 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 Faye is getting the bits and pieces ready because we're going to do uh, a little bit of shooting with the uh, main camera now. But arrived at Knoll House, and um, this is part of a collaboration. So we're going to stay the night. We're going to um, review the facilities and the food and the food and. Um, have a little walk around the like, local area of where the hotel is and we'll share it with you all um, but yeah it reminds us of Dirty Dancing the kind of building and how it looks it's quite American what was Dirty Dancing was it 60s or 50s I mm, I want to say 50s because it wasn't like all mini skirts and stuff yeah. was it so I should think it was 50s yeah so it reminds us of that so it looks it looks really nostalgic so um, yeah, let's go and have a little look at Knoll House. Alright, Knoll House. Faye's having a little faff with the camera and the gimbal. This is looking lovely. There's some beer through there. So as soon as we arrived, we saw there were some beers in the fields. And this is what I was saying about looking like dirty dancing. You tell me that doesn't look like one of the like, huts that baby was staying in from day dancing. Where's Johnny Faye? Johnny? Johnny? Faye getting all arty. No house. Get 
get checked in. Hello. Hello Made it to the room. We didn't get lost. We didn't get lost. <laughs> I think I've actually just locked it. Oh, I think it was already. Yeah, I think it was unlocked. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice. we've got a balcony. Oh, nice. How oh, cozy. Wow, look at that for a view. That is gorgeous. That's so nice. Oh, that'll do. Oh, my God. Look at that. Waking up to this in the morning. I hope it's sunny in the that morning. It's absolutely stunning. Oh yes, look at that. Happy? Very happy with that. That is what you call a view. How gorgeous is that? Oh, this is heaven. Sea view and pine trees. Yeah, tennis courts, pigeon park. Oh, we've been spoiled today yeah. with weather and everything. Wow. Yeah, for this time of year, it's can be touch and go, can't yeah. it, as to what you get. This is, yeah. But after, after a long walk, I say long, <laughs> hour and a half, Quite long. with terrain which was up and down, coming somewhere like this is absolute bliss. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting our stuff all sorted out in the room, grabbing a coffee. Let's have a look, look at the room, actually. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a little look at the room. Let's turn the lights yeah. on. It's so cosy. What's this little doorway? Big old mirror. Oh, there's another bedroom. Oh, nice. You can sleep in here. Oh. This, so this is where oh, Faye's going to sleep. So you've got like a little sea view yeah. here as well. Nice. Little wash basin. It's like a family room then. So we can dump all our stuff in here and then we've got... Yeah, we've got the... Space. My bedroom is clear. Yeah, your bedroom, you know, you've got two beds to choose from. <laughs> a little bedside table for all of your cosmetics. That, and that little drawer there in front of me looks like one of those things of a Star Wars. You probably won't know what that no, is. No, I have no idea yeah. what that is. But yeah, crazy. Where's the um, shower? Yeah. Faye's getting comfy on the bed already. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, yeah, there's even like a little. I didn't even notice that, a wash basin, basin in, in there. there. Yeah. But then in here. Oh. Cozy little bathroom. Yeah, it's small but it's nice. Small but perfectly formed. Perfectly formed. Yeah, sweet. That is lovely. And we've got Elemis toiletries. Elemis. 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 I approve. Oh my word, look. I'm gonna sit on the bed. That is the view. I mean, you can't see because it's <laughs> saturated. The view. You don't be able to see. Oh, God, look at me. Look, I look like a firework. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a thumb. Oh, my word. But yeah, the sea, I'm literally just looking at the sea now. Absolute heaven. I could do with a nap. Yes, I could, I, but I still need a coffee. Oh, yeah. You've just had a coffee. I need another coffee. That is very tempting. So we've arrived in the uh, pool area and spa is just closed. Um, but it's so tempting just to dive in there. How gorgeous is that? Apparently yesterday that was 26 degrees. So it'd be like having a nice warm bath. I've left my sunglasses in the hotel room so I can't actually look up right now. <laughs> Just stunning here. Behind you've got the Purbeck Hills. All the way over to Old Harry Rocks. Little sea view through there. Perfect. So the swimming pool outdoors, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely temperature. Just coming into these spa facilities now. Have a little look in here. 
So it's just closed in for the day, so it's quite empty, but you've got like a little bar area with stalls there. We might have to go for the changing rooms, I'm not too sure. Faye is looking nervous. Yeah, I don't want to walk in on anyone with this. <laughs> right, so now we're in the indoor spa area. All right, so Faye is still doing her stuff. But this is the indoor spa facility. Little pool, but perfect. Got like a steam room and sauna through there. Jacuzzi where Faye is over in the corner. Look at this, lovely. Look at Faye's craft. Here she goes. Oh, she goes, look. For anybody who enjoys a game of chess. Oh, yes! Come on. <laughs> so we've just got back to the hotel room after having a little look around the hotel. Swimming pool, spa area, which is lovely. Let's put my feet up for a bit before we go downstairs for uh, some food and drink. Put the uh, semi-final of the FA Cup on. Faye's a Manchester United fan. So there's a penalty shootout going on at the moment. She's looking a bit tense. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had a lovely day so far and I'm looking forward to getting some food next. Come on! You yes. You're gonna get battered by City now. I don't care. I don't care. Oh my god. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I'm shaking. Right. Time to get some food. Filming each other filming. <laughs> it's cosy, isn't it? Mm. So this way to dinner. So Sunday dinner. Spoiled the choice. A lovely little setup, isn't it? Mm, quite romantic. It is romantic, yeah. So we just sat down for dinner. There's some deer which have gone onto the front lawn. Hopefully, you can see that because that is pretty special. So, dinner has been served, and we both roast beef, Yorkshire pudding. Faye's decided to take a few pictures before actually eating. <laughs> you right down there, Faye? I'm all right. How badly Hungry. do you want to eat your dinner? So bad. Yeah, look, this is looking lovely. You're right in my shot. I'm getting told off now because I'm in Faye's shot, so I'm just going to uh, put the camera down and start eating. Faye, did you enjoy your roast beef dinner? It was absolutely delightful. What was your favourite bit? The Yorkshire pudding. Why was crispy that? Crispy and big. Big? Yeah. And crispy. It's got, they've got need to be It big. was crispy and big. It was huge, wasn't it? It was huge. Mm. Yeah. Really good roast beef dinner. We've both ordered the sticky toffee pudding now, so equally ex as excited to see how that comes out as well. You're <laughs> struggling to talk on yeah. you're I'm just, I'm tired and thinking, oh, Sticky toffee pudding. You can see my eyes, my eyes are tired. It's been a long day. Um, it's also been one of those days which the sunshine, oh my God. You know when you like go, you go for a walk in the sunshine and at the end of the day, you just get that cozy 
foggy brain tired. That's kind of where we're both at now. We keep saying things which make absolutely no sense. <laughs> Very and early. then getting annoyed with each other when we can't yeah. understand it. Yeah, typical us, just bickering at each other. Faye earlier was telling me that, well, I asked at a time, and it was uh, 20 to 3, but Faye was reading 1441 as 441. So she was telling me, she was telling me 20 to 5, but meaning 20 to 3, which also created a little bit of tension on the way back <laughs> to the car earlier. <laughs> oh, but yeah, anyway, you're looking forward to your sticky toffee pudding. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it might be coming oh, out. The chaff is coming. Here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we Thank go. You very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It's got a little bar. A little board game here. Little bar room. Is it billiards? Isn't Billy a snooker? I don't know, what is this? Is That's just a map of Stadlers. I remember my dad used to have one of these, but like a portable. I have no idea what this is. It's just like one of those circus games, isn't it? Just to put money in or something. Isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's like a... What is it like, Faye? Just show us again, what do you think? Just a, just a so me film, me film you coming down the stairs. Yeah. So I think we're done for the day. Yeah. I hope we're done for the day. <laughs> we hope we're done for the day. Actually, no, we've got one more, one more shot in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so one more shot and then we're done for the day. We're going to have a bit of an early-ish evening. In bed, watching yeah. TV. And probably just fall asleep within about 10 seconds. Yeah, because we are absolutely shattered, but it's been a lovely day. But yeah, back to the room. Yeah. Let's go. So I've just been woken up by Faye saying, oh wow, we need to get up and look at the sunrise. Look at that. That is pretty special. How lovely is that? Not as lovely as my face, I'm sure you can agree. You got that face? Yeah, I mean, not with, I probably look disgusting. You look absolutely <laughs> stunning. That is absolutely gorgeous. to wake up to. Wow. Not only that, but we've now got deer crossing the road. Wow. I just want to show you this spare room again and please excuse the mess because we were uh, busy working creating stuff yesterday so we've got bags we've got our own kind of like bags and then we've got our camera bags and other bits and pieces everywhere lights you name it but how cozy is this room you've got these windows here which are Faye tells me are Georgian style windows and when the sun comes through it just picks up on this little vanity area here which is gorgeous. And then you come over here, you've got a huge mirror, which everyone who knows me knows I love and need a huge mirror because I've got quite a large head. And not only that, I've got a lot of beard and a lot of hair that goes with that as well. So it just accentuates the size of my head. So I need a large mirror to capture me all. But um, back to what I was gonna kind of show you, which is the room here. The, the sun is just starting to come through. Wardrobes, little wicker chairs, got your two single beds. It's just so cosy. And then we come into the main room again. And again, excuse the mess. We, as I say, we were busy yesterday creating content, so we've got a lot of stuff everywhere. It's just so cosy. And there's 
There's Faye. Hello. My absolute feast for the eyes. Not yet. Always Faye. So again, really good size room. We've got a king size bed. Another huge mirror, which picks up a lot of light and for Faye and I, getting in each other's way. Not here, because we can both get ready using the big mirror. So it's gorgeous, you've got plenty of storage space. Wardrobes again. Bathroom in the corner. And of course, the balcony where we saw the sunrise this morning. So again, if we go back out here, I know we've seen it, but it, it's an absolute delight. So we might as well have another look at it again. Look at that. So you've got your tennis courts over there, you've got a pigeon putt, I think I've already mentioned this. But it's such a gorgeous place just to come and sit with your coffee, just watch the world go by. So yeah, if you're ever thinking about coming over to England or if you're ever thinking about where to go in the UK, you should certainly check out Knoll House. South Coast of Dorset in England it is absolute bliss. It just feels like you're at home, but you're being taken care of. You're getting food, you're getting a comfy place to sleep. It's just so relaxing and so peaceful. And not only is the hotel itself lovely, again, like I said at the beginning, reminds us of Dirty Dancing, that kind of nostalgic feel. It's got a real nice, calm vibe about the place. But the location, like if you want to go for walks, country walks, coastal walks, it's literally all there for you to go and do. Um, so strongly recommend, like if you're looking for somewhere to go to explore and then go back and get your head down and eat good food. Knoll House in Studland, definitely check this place out. We're the first into the dining room. Got in here a little bit early because we're going to try and get some um, footage of like the food and stuff like that. Faye's on that already, doing that thing. But I can show you around here a little bit more. The size of this place is huge. Loads of tables. Views over to the Isle of Wight across the sea. Once again, chilled vibe. It smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, croissant. There you go, hey, croissant. Croissant. Your fruits, yogurts, jams. That's where I'll be over there with the coffees. And you've got your full English breakfast. All your juices, your cereals, your phase. It's the best one. We are both very hungry, so we are going to fill our boots this morning with all of this. So, And then we're going to um, head down to the beach afterwards as well, which is a short walk, so we'll show you how quick that is to get to the beach as well. And, but before we do that, we'll also show you what we get to eat, which I know a lot of people love to see. So, um, yeah. Let's get tucked into some breakfast. So we've just picked our table and we've just been kindly informed that this is the Enid Blyton table. So we're going to have our breakfast here. With Enid? <laughs> yeah, with Enid. Or well, maybe not. Looking out to the gardens, <laughs> yeah. Well, we never know. And looking over oh. to the sea. All right, Fa? Yeah. Oh, bollocks. Oh, what are you doing? Camera settings. Um, I need to lock this, I think. So we've got breakfast. Oh my days. That is the breakfast for a king and queen. That. Oh yes. A couple of sausages, a couple of bacon, a couple of hash browns, mushrooms, two fried eggs, baked beans and a fried tomato, so uh, oh. Oh, that's all I can say. <laughs> so we just got back from breakfast and oh my word, the food here is absolutely amazing, honestly. The amount of food you get, but also how good it tastes. Mwah. Tastes. I'm still tired, but oh, the food, guys, unbelievable. Just going to share this with you because it's quite interesting. I thought 
So Noel House has had quite a few famous guests. Um, so I mentioned earlier that we were sitting at the Enid Blyton, who's a, an author of uh, children's books. Um, she stayed here back in the 50s and 60s with her husband, Walter. Um, but also, guests they have had at Noel House, just looking on my phone here, Thomas Hardy, who was a 19th century author, Mary Shelley, who wrote Frankenstein, They've also had Roald Dahl, Michael Palin, and Winston Churchill, to name a few. So this place is definitely recognised as somewhere, a lot of those people come from busy like city, London type areas, so to come here and relax and unwind. Um, speaking to a lady earlier, she said she just finds it quaint. And I think that's a good word to describe Knoll House. It's a very quaint hotel and location. I could honestly sit here for hours just with a coffee and a book or something and just listen to that, listen to the nature, watch the world go by, boats going past. Oh, it's just absolute bliss, it really is. But yeah, I thought it was quite interesting how many uh, famous guests have stayed here. Oh, I don't want to go home. I want to stay here for as long as possible. I'm just going to do a quick walk down to the beach. Which beach is this? <laughs> Middle Beach. Middle Beach. I think. I'll confirm that. I'll, pu I'll put the beach on South here. Beach. Yeah, I'll confirm that. Basically, we're going to walk down to the beach from Knoll House. It's a really short walk. Um, only takes like a minute or two. So I'll show you what that's like right now. And it, once again, very tranquil, very beautiful. See you later. No. We should, we should cheat. <laughs> Do that next time. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Enjoy. Take care. Little Robin perched up. So there's your hotel. No house, cross the road. And then we go through these gates onto the Pitch and Park golf course. Here's Wifey. Capturing her content for her reel. Look at that face, that serious face. Oh yeah. What are you hmm. liking about your shot there, Faye? Just the camera, so good. Oh, look at old Harry's, it looks gorgeous. Oh, look at that, guys, old Harry's. Old Harry rocks. So what have you enjoyed about this day? The food. Yeah, all that yeah. food. Just yummy. Yummy food. Good sized bed as well. Just poke my leg with the, uh, the gorse. gorse. The gorse. And what, what bed, sorry? The good sized bed. Good sized bed, king sized bed, yeah. Plenty of food. It's just really relaxing. Just chatting to a couple just now and they, everybody said the same thing. It's just so peaceful, isn't it? Mm, Tranquil. The, the spikes on your hand. The spikes on the gorse. Yeah, it's just so tranquil. And uh, what was uh, what did the lady say earlier? Quaint, Quaint didn't you? Yeah. Yes. Which um, I think you've said as well. And it is. I mean, it's just bliss. Just quiet, relaxing, calm. Yeah, we're not now. You can't even hear anything other than us. Yeah, can't and hear any birds. Other than your voice, which is always lovely on the ears. <laughs> Oh yes, gorgeous. It's 
So that was, how long would you say? Less than five minutes. Less than five minute walk, yeah, that's fair enough. So less than five minute walk down to the beach. Um, and it is very nice, to say the least. Always is on the coast down here, isn't it? The water's looking good. If you're a paddle boarder. It's perfect paddle boarding. Look at that. Coast and country. Creme de la creme. Yeah. Creme de la crepe. Creme de la crepe. As my sister Zoe would say, yeah. yeah. Right, back from the beach, got my final coffee, and this is the end of our stay mm. at Knoll House, and our little walk around. Can you remember what the walk's called now? Ag I want to say Agglestone. Glad it's not Gladstone. <laughs> Gladstone, <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's the, end of, <laughs> it's the end of our stay at Knoll House, um, and we've had a lovely 24 hours, and the walk was gorgeous, as you could see, and we were sport by the weather yesterday, and today, um, waking up to the sunrise as well was incredible with the deer outside as well and then a short walk down to the beach it was just perfect and food oh so good incredible yeah yeah what was your favorite part of the day or well, 24 hours say so the food and I've, I think I've just been I've been really pleasantly surprised by the hotel because we came here last year and although we really loved it when we came we, we just did like a day trip to, to use the facilities and have lunch and I remember the food was amazing but I remember thinking oh the hotel it's very traditional maybe it's not really me not really my sort of thing and they said oh it's got um, people that come back here year after year and I thought oh, okay that's fine that's that you know, certain people come here. But now we've been, I feel like I've fallen in love with the place. Mm -hmm. I really do. It's got such a nostalgia to it. And it's that's its charm. And I actually wouldn't want to change it at all. No, I wouldn't, all. wouldn't want to modernise it or anything. Mm. It's so charming, just how it is. Yeah, yeah. I think the spa, the indoor pool and yeah. jacuzzi could be um, modernised ever so slightly. Up upgraded. Upgraded. Yeah, I think that's the word. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, the, the rest of the place, like Faith said, it's just, it's just... It's not trying to be something that no. it's not. And it's lovely, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, if you've um, continued watching, thank you for staying in there with us as we've meandered through the undergrowth <laughs> and bickered and niggled at each other and got lost. I don't and, think that got on the film, did it? Um, it, may, it may have. I don't know. We'll see what I put in. <laughs> um, and, yeah, watched us eating. Fantastic, I'm sure. <laughs> But just want to say a huge thanks again to Noel House and the team for um, hosting Faye and I. Um, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. All the staff have been absolutely delightful yeah. as well. All the guests have been lovely. So it's been a brilliant stay. Um, so yeah, anybody who's watching, if you um, have enjoyed uh, what Faye and I have got up to, please do feel free to subscribe because uh, the more people that I've got subscribing helps the channel grow. And then Faye and I can do more trips and share more of our life with you guys as well. And it's, uh, we have a lot of fun doing this and we want to show value to people of where they can stay in the UK as well. So hopefully we can start doing more of that. Um, and also if you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like as well because that also helps. And if you've got any questions about what we've got up to or where we should go next, pop it in the comments below and I'll um, answer your questions there for you. But until next time, have a lovely day. Take care.